Carlos Garcia. I um, come from an organization called Puente in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're here in Albuquerque, New Mexico with the Undocubus. The spirit's been amazing, man. It started off with an action we did in Phoenix uh, last week where four undocumented people put themselves in front of our pile, got arrested, and said we're not afraid anymore. And we've carried that energy through our travels and now to Albuquerque and on through the rest of the southern of the United States. My name is Leticia Ramirez. I've been undocumented for 18 years. I am a mother of three kids. And I'm here to tell Arpaio that he's been chasing our community. He's been chasing our people. And I'm here to tell him that I'm making his job easy, that I'm here and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand up for what he's been doing to my community and come and get him. The Freedom Riders, this is exactly where we, we got our motivation from. When unjust laws are confronted by the actual people affected is when they crumble. That's what we're hoping to do here today. This is Leticia Ramirez with the Undocubus. I do this for all the women that have been suffering for their kids because they get deported. I'm really doing it for my community and doing it for my whole family because my whole family is undocumented like me. I know you have children. Was it like very hard to like tell them that you're leaving? Are they scared for you or are they scared for themselves? Like how they're gonna grow up into this society. They're not scared because they know that I'm fighting for a better place for them. It's been hard for me because you have to leave your kids, um, you have to do, like go to protests, you never know what might happen. But like I always do, I always take my kids so they can see what i really been doing. I don't want them to be growing in a racist community like it's in Arizona. And I just want the better for them. That's why I'm, I'm fighting for a better place for them to be growing. If I can do it again, I'll just do it again. And my friend Quincy here really support No Papers, No Fear. It is very cool. Super cool. People who have this amount of strength and are willing to put their lives on hold to do this, it's amazing. Everyone needs to be treated the same, whether they come from a different place or not. And let's just give everybody an equal shot at living a healthy and beautiful life. No Papers, No Fear! It's pretty commendable that they're willing to, to put themselves in that risk to stand up with, for what they believe is right. I'm very happy that they came here to New Mexico because we love everyone here and I'm glad that they're not scared to be here because we are very accepting and we're happy that they're here. I hope that this inspires others to sort of stand up for the whole idea that we all live on one planet, it doesn't matter what borders are there. It doesn't matter where you're from or what language you speak. I'm a first generation New Mexican and I support the undocubus. No papers, no fear. My name is Buddy Bell and um, I'm with the undocubus. And we're in Albuquerque, New Mexico. A lot of things have been controlled by the U.S. They want to uh, make the conditions right for U.S. corporations. And so the corporations can take goods, they can take their factories across the border without papers. Why can't regular people do the same thing? That's people power versus corporate power. So here we are, this is our bus, here we have some couches, people, stuff everywhere and we have another one of our members here helping out. Um, we have the bed set back there, we have a little gift that they gave from um, Denver, which is pretty nice people from Denver. Uh, so yeah, well it's super um, great, you could, uh, we get to spend a lot of time together with community members, people that have the same beliefs and are fighting for the same reasons that we all are. 
just a lot of guts and a lot of wanting to, to change the situation that we're in in Arizona and to change the situation that we're in just all over the place. I love that type of people that have the courage to fight for what they believe in. This is the bus that will take 30 people, the majority of us are undocumented. Y me siento bien al decirle al mundo que soy indocumentada y no tengo miedo y de andar en la calle sin miedo y con mis hijos. Natalie fue una de las de las también que se arrestó y ella es madre de un hijo. Tiene 24 años y tiene 10 diez... ¿Cuántos años tienes aquí? 16 años viviendo en Arizona como indocumentada. El Igerasmo como uno como mujer um, enseña a, a todos los Estados Unidos y a todo el mundo de que tenemos esa lucha y esa fuerza para seguir adelante y más que nada yo creo por nuestras familias. Ya estamos cansados de Joe Arpaio y de todas las leyes anti-inmigrantes que están pasando en todos los Estados Unidos, pero más que nada lo hice por mi familia y mi comunidad. If you got the anger, then it's time to get it managed. Throw your fists in the air, let's do some damage. Build it up, now you let it all out. Scream inside your head, now you're ready for the battle. The battle, the fight, the war within yourself It's easy to forget and put it on the shelf Therapeutic therapy, now I'm dealing with my hate You put that shit up on someone else's plate Whoever said time heals all wounds Didn't feel the pain, cause the pain always slows down Deep inside your soul, lost inside your head Now only time is in control, now only time, now only time I like your t-shirt, what does that mean? Legalize Arizona so when we're talking about immigration, a lot of the times we <clears throat> talk about legal versus illegal. So for us, especially people that have been native to this continent, um, when we're talking about illegalities and legalities, it's kind of ironic that we see people like the sheriffs, politicians, deciding whether people like myself that were on this land before it was Mexico and when and still is indigenous land are still here. So that's why we're flipping this. And when we're talking about legalizing Arizona, we're talking about decolonizing Arizona, we're talking about shifting the debate, that it's not the people that are illegal, it's the state that's acting illegal. I'm Erica Bronco from Santa Clara Pueblo, here with Fernando with the No Papers, No Fear, Right for Justice, who is traveling on a bus through Albuquerque. What is your message for Native American people around in Mexico with the No Papers, No Fear, Right for Justice? I think uh, my message is to learn about our history and to stand up with us. We're asking for solidarity and we're actually offering solidarity too. Uh, bring consciousness to our people because we are the same people. How are we the same people? It's just look at you and look at me. We're so related. Any person with an indigenous background or indigenous blood, I think should stand up for uh, this kind of injustices. We're a continent of indigenous people. That's what, that's what is really connecting us. I think Native people should support migrant people. It goes way back in history, 2000, like 200, 500 years ago. We were going through the same thing. Land was taken. I completely did the same thing you guys are doing. I'm walking in my land. I was born in this land. I'm native to this land, just like her, just like every Pueblo, just like every indigenous community back in Mexico, every indigenous community in Central America, every in every indigenous people in this con in this continent, we have to step up. We have to stand up. Get up, stand up, stand up for your right. Get up, stand up, stand up for your right. We are actually related to each other. That's my main um, point when trying to build that connection with. Uh, between the migrant struggle with the Native American struggle. My experience today was nothing I would imagine. I feel like I gained a lot of knowledge. We need to do something about this situation. No papers, no fear.